Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot, so hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a Milky Way inspired set of resin coasters, so let's jump in and get started. I went ahead and mixed up my resin and my pigments off camera, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how I mix my resin, I will link my previous Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out, I show you step by step how I mix my resin and my pigments. So the first thing I did was I just did a diagonal line of some chunky color shifting glitter from Let's Resin. It's a super pretty silver color and now I'm going in with some purple alcohol ink from Let's Resin and I'm just pouring like a little circle next to those glitters. I'm not filling the mold up all the way, just adding a little circle of that alcohol ink and I added five drops of the purple alcohol ink to two ounces of clear resin. And this is the violet interference pigment from Let's Resin. I'm just kind of filling in the mold almost to the top with that violet interference and I'm going to be um, adding some clear as well. I'm going to go in with a little bit more glitter on this one because the pigments were kind of pushing it, kind of making it go away basically and disappear. And now I'm going to go in with some white. This is Angel White Epoxy Paste from Laura's Art Corner. I added just a tiny amount to one ounce of clear resin and just did a few drizzles. I didn't want a lot of white on these coasters. I just wanted a tiny little hint of it. So I made the white very transparent. And now I'm going in with some clear resin. Just filling the molds up the rest of the way with clear, pouring that clear right on top of my pigments. And these coaster molds are from Let's Resin as well. They also come with a little stand. I didn't pour the stand on this set. Um, I just am going to do the coasters, but total this set takes about eight ounces. So I had mixed up two ounces of the alcohol ink, two ounces of the violet interference, an ounce of the glitter color, a half ounce of the white, and then the rest was all clear. I'm hitting these with my heat gun on low to pop bubbles. I'm using my heat gun really high up above the molds because I didn't want it to kind of make the resin overflow outside of the mold. And now I'm going to go in with the silicone paintbrush and just draw some fun little swirly designs. I'm doing a few swirls down the center and then a few swirls on each side, kind of just blending all of these pigments together. And then I'm going to hit them with my heat gun one more time just to pop bubbles and go around the perimeter of the molds with my little silicone paintbrush to dislodge any bubbles that might be trapped along the edge of the mold. And I'll link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box along with my coupon codes if you guys want to get any of these products to try. Going in with my heat gun once more and that's going to be it. I'm going to cover these up with upside down storage container. I'll let them dry overnight and then we'll be ready to demold them. So here we are the next day, 24 hours later. I was ready to pop these out of the molds. I was so excited to see how these turned out. It's such a fun technique and I feel like they turned out really pretty. You can see there's a lot of really cool texture in them and that's from using the different products. Um, the, all the products that I used are a different density. So using products that are a different density will give you some really cool effects and texture in your resin pieces. It almost has like a really cloudy, pretty look in the sections where I did the pigments. And then of course there's that beautiful glitter down the center. Um, this glitter comes in a set of 15 different colors. Oh no, wait, it actually comes in a set of 12 different colors and they're all holographic chunky color shifting glitters like this. So definitely check this set out. Um, this silver is one of my favorites. It's super beautiful. But let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments. I'm thinking of doing like a teal colored set next. I think that would be really pretty. Or of course blue. I love using all things, all colors blue. Um, I think that that would be really pretty. And I'm wondering if I should do like a backing layer on these. Maybe pour a layer of white to really make the colors pop but I kind of like how they're transparent um, because if they're sitting on a table of course you know that color is kind of going to kind of shine through them or show through them whatever color the table is so I'm not sure if I would if I should pour a backing layer let me know what you guys think down in the comments I was thinking of doing a white backing layer on these 
um, but I wanted to demold them without a backing layer just to see how they turned out and I think they turned out really nice. Um, this little heart here, I just made it with the leftover pigments I had. I poured them all in this little mold and demolded it. I'll turn this one into a cute little ornament. And here's how they look um, if they were just, you know, sitting on your coffee table, depending on what color your table was, so, or what color your table is. So that gives you more of a kind of like an opaque look to them. I really like how they look just sitting like this. Super pretty. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you give this a try. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I'll leave a few of my favorites at the end card screen of this video. Just click the picture and you can go check out those other videos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.